Hi everyone, so I was requested a while back to do a Green Day album inspired look and this is what I came up with for it. This is no particular Green Day album um, just because they all kind of have the same color scheme so I just kind of went with their particular sort of color scheme that represents them. I sort of gave the look sort of a hard edge to sort of go more with their music versus the just the very stark lime green that you see on the album. So that's why it's kind of a dark look. So I hope that you enjoy this look and thanks for watching. So I've already prepped and primed my eyelids with Urban Decay Primer Potion and Eden from the lid up to the brow bone. And I'm going to be taking uh, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and we're just going to place a little bit of that underneath the brow, brow bone just to make it appear more bright and a little into the inner tear duct as well. I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. The warmth of my hand will help melt the product right onto the brow bone a little easier than a brush would. I'm going to take Rocky Mountain Green next to my eye pencil and just kind of dot that all over the lid. And I'm just going to take my finger and blend in all the color. Less is more when you're using a very creamy pencil. If it helps, you could even take a brush and then uh, Take a little bit of the product off the stick and then just blend a little onto the eyelid. I'm going to take Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes and number one. We're just going to put that on the waterline. Just kind of taking care of all the basic cream products first. I'm going to take this Sugar Pale Chroma Lust and this one is in June Bug. They now changed the packaging to have the name printed on the bottom. They've had that for a while though, I got this back in June, June, July. And I'm just gonna take this um, flat shader brush and we're just gonna spray a little bit of a toner or whatever you have on directly onto the product. Once we pick a little bit up on our brush, I'm just gonna spray the brush directly. All right. You can also use this dry if you want. And I'm just going to pat that all over Rocky Mountain Green. If you use it dry though, you're gonna get more of a, a dupe of club. Now I know that's not exactly the green day green color you see on the albums, but I'm using their music as sort of an influence as well. Now I'm going to go into this sort of matte peachy color and this um, matte brown color. And we're just going to blend that into the crease and I'll sort of diffuse out Junebug a little bit. So left it with sort of a hard edge. And you could take any matte colors in case this palette's discontinued by the time you see this look. Just a matte brown. I'm gonna go in with that matte chocolate brown color that's in the palette alone. And we're going to go into the deep socket with the Delium Tools brush. This is the 785. And we're just starting in the outer corner of the lid and then blending it into the deep socket. Now for the inner crease, we're just gonna go in with that matte peach color. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Sugar Pills um, Decora, which is just sort of this watermelon pink. It's got gold shimmer in it. I'll show you, not gold shimmer, I'm sorry, it has like sapphire shimmer. And I'm just gonna pick this up on the Sigma E25, but any blender will do. Now what we're gonna do with this particular color is start right here in the peachy zone and start blending low into the crease. I want to keep this look dark in the outer and 
lighter in the inner portion of the eye. It'll keep it a little bit more wearable for a few more eye shapes. Now I'm going to take that same brush now that the color is completely off it and I'm going to go into this sort of brulee dupe and we're just going to smudge that out under the brow bone. I'm just going to re-highlight that with the matte white. Now before we clean up the fallout in the outer corners, because it's probably bugging you, we're going to go in with this sort of matte black right here. And we're going to pick that up with the Delium Tool 785 and go in the outer corner of the lid and then kind of pull it into the socket. I'm going to take Sugar Pills Lumi, which is just this sort of iridescent white fun color. And we're just going to tap into it and put a little bit of that into the inner tear duct. I'm just going to clean up all fallout and begin with the rest of the look. I'm going to go over the lower lash line with that same green. I'm just going to go into it with an angled brush. If you don't have this matte palette, currently the other six pans are still available and this green is inside the pride palette. And those other neutrals you can use in either vanity or greed. Those are the names of the palette, less vanity, greed, pride. I'm going to line the upper lash line with the Urban Decay 24-7 Liquid Liner in Perversion. And we're just going to keep it pretty low on the lash line. Now I'm going to take the Ardell Fashion Lashes in number 117. I've already applied my Young Blood Mineral Lengthening Mascara, which I'm pretty happy with the length on the lashes, but I want a little bit more flare. I'm going to take a little bit of Max Blooming, her Blooming Cheek, which is just a nice satin pink, so it goes on a little more sheer than you see in the pan. Um, but for my contour, I already took um, Max Harmony, just a nice soft kind of pinky brown. And we're just going to take the e.l.f. stippling brush, which is a vegan brush, and it's $3. And we're just going to stipple a little bit into the brush hairs, and then start at the back of the cheekbone. Because I want the majority of the color concentration at the back of the hairline, and then bring it forward. When I'm doing lighter colors, I kind of like to start at the front, just to get that glow. But when I'm doing darker colors, I like to start at the back, just because I don't want all the color right in the front. Personally, I feel a really bright highlight really kind of offsets a very bright uh, cheek and kind of gives it sort of a warm winter frost glow. And I'm going to take Max Silver Iridescent Loose Powder and we're just going to put that on mm. the back of the cheekbone. Alright, so now I'm going to put on Urban Decay's 24-7 Lip Liner in Illegal. Blankety from MAC, which is just a nude creamy, very opaque nude cream color. I'm just going to take a chromographic liner and just put that on my cupid's bow and underneath the lip line. And MAC Lip Glass in L, which is just sort of an iridescent almond color that kind of translates as pink on the lips. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed the look.